After an initial hiccup, NASA just took one big step towards putting one small step on Mars. I'm Evan Dashevsky for PCMag.com, and this is What's New Now. NASA decided to scrub the first test flight of its next generation Orion spacecraft yesterday due to high winds as well as a valve issue that raised red flags with the troubleshooting team. But early this morning, the launch went off as planned and the unmanned spacecraft embarked on a four-hour mission in which it will zip around the Earth twice before splashing down in the Pacific. whoop de diddle space do, right? NASA's been sending billion-dollar chunks of metal around the Earth for decades. This is all true. While this particular test flight isn't some groundbreaking feat of engineering in and of itself, it is a very important step towards sending humans to places that aren't the moon. The Orion spacecraft was specifically designed with the goal of sending humans on long-range missions to far-flung cosmic destinations such as asteroids and eventually Mars. Today's test flight was the first real-world or real space test for many of Orion's critical systems such as avionics, altitude control, parachutes, and the heat shield. Orion's next big test will be in 2018 when the spacecraft will embark on a week-long unmanned mission around the moon and back. That mission will in turn set the stage for a mission in the early 2020s, when, which will send a human crew to rendezvous with a nearby asteroid. If everything goes well, these missions will set the stage in the early 2030s for NASA's long overdue promise of sending a human crew to Mars. Keep in mind that this timeline, as distant as it may seem, is only if things go perfectly according to plan. Any catastrophe, recession, or political gridlock could easily knock things off track. If waiting through three full presidential administrations to get a human to Mars sounds like a long time, it is. But if you need a little cosmic hope, keep this in mind. NASA is no longer the only game in space town. Space is becoming a competitive industry in which has seen a steady parade of ambitious missions from the Indian, Chinese, and European space agencies. And let's not forget the burgeoning private space industry, as well as nonprofit initiatives such as the Google-funded Lunar X Prize. Space travel is ripe for disruption, and more players can only bring that closer to reality. So perhaps in the not so frustratingly distant future, humans will finally be able to boldly go where we should have been decades ago. I'm Evan Dashevsky, and that's what's new now.